to my channel this is your girl Denny B welcome 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 thank you for joining us today why don't you hit that subscribe button join the fan bam hit the like button as well as I just went blank but anywho if this is your first time seeing your girl's face welcome I'm so glad that you are here if this is not your first rodeo with your girl welcome back booze and you know how we get down so today we just gonna jump right into this video because I got a whole lot of energy I'm going to see my granddaughter in about an hour and I just wanted to spit this video out so as you know um, I recently did a review on the NARS soft mat a uh, complete foundation i never remember this name i just remember i just remember soft matte and i never remember the complete part because i'm like what do you mean complete but whatever i did do a review on this and if it's already up i will attach it somewhere up here in that world you know how it go and i was just doing it and i was like you know what let me actually do one with the natural radiant foundation as well. And then I decided, why don't I put these together and see what they do? Now, I don't know if anybody else has done this yet. I didn't care to look. I just was like, it popped in my head and I was like, I'm going to do it because that's what I do. I make stuff happen. So yeah, um, those of you who are new to my channel, this is hands down my favorite foundation. Um, high end, like low end is the Revlon um, Cappuccino Color Stay, 24 hour color stay. But high end, it's this NARS, hand down, $50. I rocks with it. This is like my third bottle. Yeah. I did the review on this and it was so crazy because up until the time I actually did the review, I did not like this. It was literally going back to the store. I kept the box. Hold up. I kept the box because it was going to go back. I was going to get my $40. Like I, I don't play. I'm not taking no shorts, no losses in 2021. Even though I bought it in 2020, I was going to take it back because I still had time. You know what I'm saying? You know, Sephora changed their return policy. If you ain't been up on Sephora check it out it's totally different than what it used to be they said they ain't taking no shorts and no losses no more either so up until i did that review that day was the best day i had had with this foundation so because i was looking at the colors and i was like they're not the same so i just wanted to and I don't want you going off of this frosted bottle because, of course, it's frosted. And this one isn't, so you can see the color all the way through. But in my head, I was just like, let's do it. They both say they are a matte foundation. One say that it's a soft. One says it's a radiant. So that means, I don't know if the soft is going to be like more natural looking and drier. And the matte, of course, is going to be dry, but dry dryer and also have a matte radiance to it though if that makes sense which it probably doesn't it's okay it don't make sense to me but i get what they was trying to do no um i'm not gonna do a full like all out review because i've done separate reviews for both of these and i will attach those videos but i just want to talk about how they work together and if you're wondering of course it is on my face today and when i look at it I, I got a highlighter. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Your girl face is popping. Cheeks popping. But I really just wanted to. I'm ADD. I really wanted to just give you guys a heads up on how it looks if you decided to mix these two. And as you can see, this is the soft matte. And these are both in the color Baleen. And that's why I was kind of upset because when I looked at the color, because you know you can't try anything on in Sephora anymore because of the pandemic, I was like, um, I don't think that's Baleen because Baleen is a little bit more. 
Okay. Okay, so this one has more of a golden undertone and this one has more of a reddish undertone. But it's so funny because this one claims to have a red undertone. And so that's why I'm like, as you can see the both of these, these are, can y'all see that? These are two different colors. This balloon is totally lighter than this balloon. And so what I decided to do was I just mixed them together and it gives me like, it's so funny because I feel like the natural radiant took over because I have a glow out of this world. I'm not, y'all, just take out the um, highlighter because I only highlighted the tops of my cheeks. But if you just look at my face in general, there is a glow to it. Like that soft matte is just supposed to be laying dormant, you know? And then we got that radiant part that's coming from the natural radiant and it's just beautiful like this is the best finish that i think i have seen and now since i've worn them both together and i'm gonna try to insert pictures so you can see how both of them look separately and then how they look compared to what my face looks like right now. And I'm just really loving these results. Like I did not, I'm so glad I decided to do this video because I just wanted to see one, if they worked well together. Two, what type of finish would I really get? And three, will it break down? So as you can see, I'm not having any issues with oil because of course they both are for oily skin. And I have, like, this is my T-zone, and it's just always oily in there, but I have not had any issues. I set it with some e.l.f. setting spray, like I did a basic setting spray. I didn't use any powder except for underneath my eyes. I just like to set my eyes and give it a little light boost. What is that? Got me over here looking like a... Mm, okay, just checking. But as I was saying... I just really want to give you an idea of how the Baleems look. Even though the colors are off, they are two different colors. One is lighter, one is redder. And is my hand ashy? Y'all, my hand look ashy, but it's not ashy. I promise y'all, don't judge me. I told y'all I got ADD. It's an issue. But as I was saying, though, I just wanted to see how the two formulas would work. Um, I feel like they're kind of like the same formula, but I will say the soft matte, I feel like it is drier and it does dry up faster. So like if you um, like I've done it differently. So like sometimes I put them on my face individually and then mix them. And then sometimes I put them on the back of my hand, mix them up and then just put it on. And I think that work, that technique for me works better and I get a better finish because baby, when I tell you how radiantly natural I look. You better figure it out. You better get right or get left, sis, bro. Yeah, like I was saying, I just love how they've been working. Um, I've had this foundation on today um, for about, what time is it? Mm, hit my clock. It says it's 2.03. Okay, so I put it on at 7 a.m. Around 7, it was 6 something, 6. So it's been on around eight hours and I have not had to touch up. I am not oily. I am not nothing, but <laughs> snatched. If you're thinking about doing it, go ahead. Just know that if you are looking at these foundations, they do not cross over with the same color. So I don't know if that's because they say this is a, um, a soft matte. It might have different ingredients in it that makes it a soft matte and that's why the color is a little bit off i would get that but they don't transfer equally so i'm assuming if it's like this for baleem it's like this in all the other colors y'all be safe out there make sure you pick some good foundations because sis bro it's just crazy and it's really hard trying to find stuff like this color fits me perfect and i feel like both of these fit me perfectly even during my winter skin. So yeah. Is that a bump? Oh no, it ain't. <laughs> Your girl still snatch. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.